Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. New shavy today. How y'all doing today? Hopefully you're doing pretty good because I'm doing pretty good to you too. Today is Tuesday, 4.59 p.m. Yes, let's get into this one. So, razor we're going with. We're going with my Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements Ascension Select Twist Razor. Nothing fancy today. Nothing mashed up. Just regular razor. Mystical mustard tip on there. And the e blade. We're going to go with the last one that I actually have in this package. Same blade we used last time, but a brand new one. Shark Platinum. Pull this right out of here. It's my last one. So, yeah, that cardboard and everything. Thought about it. I'm like, oh, yeah, I got one more left in there. Might as well just use it. So, last one. And then I have the other shark ones. I forgot what the name of the one. And the other name of them were, or are. They're in my bedroom, I think. In the bedroom, or they might be in a medicine cabinet. I don't know. Most likely in my bedroom. A ton of blades just sitting in the medicine cabinet thrown in there. Well, I put them in there like the way I have them. Some people probably think they just throw it in there, but they're not. All right, going to do it regular because only three days worth of grow. Yeah, I already said that. So, got that loaded up in there. All right. Brush we're going with. We're going to be doing some alcohol kind of stuff. <laughs> what are you talking about? We're going to... This isn't like an alcohol drink type thing. So, brush we're going with. We're going with my Chiseling Hound. And this is my Chiseling Hound Juicy IPA that I knotted with a PA 26 millimeter Nexus knot. Haven't used this one in a while. Yeah, Juicy IPA. That is the brush we're going to be using. Now, BBS.live theme of the week this week is hashtag, hashtag, one love week two. So last week was One Love Week 1. Today is One Love Week 2. So show some love to whatever you guys want to use. Whatever you want to use in your shave of the day. So I'm showing love to all this stuff I'm using today. So, and also, the Canadian Mafia show theme of the week is Hashtag Distilled Water Week. I've never shaved with distilled water before. I know like a lot of cosmetic products and stuff, they use distilled water. And it's supposed to be pretty good for your face because there's no minerals or nothing harsh on your face instead of like out of the tap water. Arizona, we have very, very, very hard water here in Arizona. So I've never used anything except for what's in the tap and I've never used bottled water before. So we're gonna be using, I got this microwaved in the microwave for about like 20 seconds. It's a full glass, I'm not gonna need it, but this is all distilled water. And I got it in my Han Solo, Solo cup. I know, kind of cornball, right? Yeah, Solo, Solo cup, yeah. So this is filled with just distilled water. So I'm gonna be shaving with distilled water today. All right, more talking points. Soap we're gonna be using. I've had this, I think I got, I won it last month. I've had other stuff that I was doing, but I got this off of the BBS.live show and I won this. And this was actually, I won this content, like one of the giveaways, there was a bunch of giveaways. I won one of the giveaways. And so this was sent to me by um, Shave Cave Reed, the Lather Whipster. So he sent me this and it's what I won on the BBS.live show. And it is Secret Stash holy black and this one is the holy back holy black ramos gin fizz never heard of this so this was brand new there was cellophane i took it off this very little information on this because i looked it up and i believe the last time this was around was 2018 so it was a couple years ago but and i think it's based off like a drink from what i saw there's like a tall drink and the scent profile is cream sickle and a barely and a barely detectable hint of juniper. This smells like a flippin' creamsicle. That smells really, really damn good. So that's the pour. I'm gonna be scooping it out. See the alcohol type thing we're doing? Yeah, we're doing like a whole alcohol type thing. Yeah, it smells like a freaking creamsicle with like the juniper. I'm assuming that's what's in the back that I'm picking up because it's not just straight creamsicle. But it smells really, really damn good. So yes, that's what I want. That's what we're gonna do. And we're going to be also using, since that, I believe this is unobtainium, so it's from 2018. We're going to be using another unobtainium thing. A little bit of dust on there. <laughs> and that is from Phoenix Stars and Accoutrements. Gin and Tonic Aftershave Cologne. It smells just like a gin and tonic, so that's what we're going to actually be using today. Another unobtainium type thing. And then we're going to put on top of that, all like fruit kind of stuff, Star Jelly or Mortal Peach. This is an old one. So that's going to be the shave. Let me get this all loaded up in my potato bowl. And I'm using the distilled water. And we'll see how it goes. I'll be right back. 
All right, cool. So I got it all lathered up. I think I used more too, too much soap, but I did use the distilled water and yeah, it lathered up really nice. So we'll see how it goes. All right, so I'm gonna actually rinse my hand. I'm gonna use the distilled water instead of like the tap water for my face. So I got a whole, see I made a, I got a whole cup of it. So, all right, so I'm gonna, how the hell am I gonna do this? Just dip my fingers, I guess. So we'll use the distilled water and try to do that. Probably make a whole mess on my counter, but you guys aren't gonna be able to see it. Oh well. Got that. Gonna be using Pe Phoenix Art Phoenix Phoenix Artisan Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements Peach Cube. So the Peach Cube. I'm pour some of the distilled water on top of that too. So it's wet. Yeah, we're just gonna try using distilled water. Except for when I'm gonna, I'm not gonna rinse the razor in there. Maybe I don't know. I'm talking too much. Flapping the lip. But you guys know I flap the lip a lot, so. That's what I do on this channel. I talk a lot. Nowhere near like Subi Shaves, though, man. He's crazy. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I like Subi Shaves. I could not do his energy, though. Subi Shaves has such crazy energy. Him and Mel are like that. And I'm like, here. I got energy. You guys know that. But I'm nowhere near both those dudes. Okay. Rinse my hands. And now I'll just rinse the I'll just rinse the razor underneath the the regular water. So it was more about the lather. I think I made put the too too much water. I made a lot of bubbles. So and I think that I believe that means you put too much water. So I just put too much water. Maybe. All right. Oh, it smells like a cream. I want to eat this. This smells like chewable. I I know damn well it wouldn't taste like it though because it's soap. Soap soap. All right. Here we go. Put that on there. Ooh. It does have like a, it's not like pure white color either. Like you guys saw the soap in there. It does have like a tint to it, like a brownish color. It's not pure white and it's not Walter White. Yeah, so I did get, uh, yesterday I got uh, El Camino. I watched El Camino. Oh, that was good, man. That was a really, really good movie. It's cool. Like if you were to watch El Camino on its own, it, I think it would be a good movie. It might be a little bit confusing if you haven't seen Breaking Bad, but I like it. I like the ending, too. I like how they didn't kill Jesse off, and it's like, you know, it's been around for a while, so there's no spoilers. So he bought a new uh, identity and all that stuff. And, yeah, moved to Alaska, and it just shows him driving driving to, through Alaska. It's like, that's cool. They didn't kill him off like they did Walter White. I'm gonna dip this in. I'm gonna dip it in the distilled water a little bit. So yeah. And then I ordered pass number one. I got Better Call Saul. I know you can get it on Netflix and all that stuff, but I don't have Netflix. Yeah, I'm weird. <laughs> I'm kinda I'm kinda behind when it comes to like technology. Stuff like that. Like I know Netflix account and all that would be like really cheap, but I don't watch too much stuff to actually be getting it, so yeah. So I just still do DVDs. Or Redbox. I could just go to Redbox and grab a DVD. Check something out. I don't have to get Netflix or nothing. Ooh, so how y'all doing today? Today's Saturday. Tuesday. Today's Tuesday. I'm gonna put some of that distilled water on there. That's warm. Yeah, we got crazy wind. Last two, like last night, about 6 p.m., we had a really bad dust storm. Like you can barely see it with all the dust and stuff. And we get those here in Arizona, we get those things called haboobs. You said boob. Yeah, it's called a haboob. Total whiteout, dust out. Can't drive in it or nothing. And I think today it's 116 today. Hot. Cannot wait for winter. It's like uh, when I'm at work and everybody's like all the customers like, oh, it's hot today. Oh, it's hot today. I'm like, okay, Captain Obvious, it's Arizona, duh. Why are you out shopping then? Only came in for one item and I got the whole cart full now. That's your damn fault. We told you you had to go out shopping. Another thing, I don't, okay. Because I work retail. 
Does anybody else, like with your job or anything, does anybody else ever experience people saying thank you for working today? Like they say that to me all the time. Like they're leaving the store and all. I may pay at Walmart, so I'm at the door. And they're always like, well, say, I'm like, have, have a good day. Hey, can I see your receipt? Blah, blah, blah. Thank you for working today. I'm like, I need money. I got bills to pay. Why are you thanking me for like me getting off my ass and having a job? Like, does anybody else ever experience that? Like people saying, thank you for working. I'm just like, it confuses the shit out of me. I'm like, okay. <laughs> I don't get it. Or another thing is like, uh, I appreciate you working today, Emma. Well, you ain't gonna pay my bills. My mom ain't gonna pay my bills. Who else is gonna pay for my stuff that I need, you know? It just confuses the hell out of me. Thank you for working. You're welcome. <laughs> 44 years old. I've had a job since I was 15. Yeah, I started working at McDonald's when I was 15. They actually let me they actually let me work at McDonald's when I was 15. Got hired in February. My birthday is in um December. They're like, don't tell anybody that you're actually 15, because we can get in trouble. I'm like, okay, cool. Never got in trouble. So then when I was 16, it was all good. But yeah, I've had a, I've been working since I was 15. So when people say, thank you for working, it's like, you know how many years I've been had a job? Crazy fact about me, I've only had two jobs my entire life. I started working at McDonald's when I was 15. I worked there for eight years. The last two years, I was a manager. And then I started working overnight, overnight stocking at Walmart the last two years I was at McDonald's. And I was an overnight stocker two of those years, working two jobs. I quit McDonald's on my eighth year anniversary. <laughs> Really messed up story, and yeah, we're not going to go into my old type, type of life. Just thank God I don't live that anymore. And yeah, so and then I've been working with Walmart for 21 years. So I've had a job since I was 15, so I really don't understand when people say thank you for working. It makes no sense to me. I was raised differently with my parents and stuff. You want something, go get it. We're not buying you those $80 Jenko jeans. <laughs> $80 skate shoes and stuff. Yeah, AC's going today. This was a damn good shave. I don't even talk about it, but yeah. One there, one there. But mowed it down, yeah. All right, I think we're good. I just been using cold water instead of warm water because I was just using the distilled water. All right, very close, very smooth. Maybe that distilled water is good. I mean, it lathered up really good, but I think I might have, I may have put a too much, I put a, I put a too much water in there because you guys see the big bubbles. What does that mean? Does that mean I use too much water? You guys know I don't use enough water ever, so. But it still lathered good. Maybe using the distilled water is different for me, but it. Worked out perfectly perfectly pretty good. So, okay, got one there, one there, nothing here. Very close, very efficient. That's a damn good shave. So, all right, I'm gonna clean up and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Very close, very smooth, very efficient. One there, one there. PA on block. I don't think I need a stick stick stick, but yeah. Cold water. Well, cold water out of the tap. Cold water, yeah. Yeah, right there and right there. Crazy. It's a weird spot. Well, it is on the Adam's apple, so... I just went... <laughs> chopped it off. Ugh. All right, Petra has recording. I always, I always have that where I'm thinking I'm not recording at all. 
All right. We are using, since we use that soap that's unobtainium, I believe it's unobtainium, that haven't been around since 2018, so yeah. Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements Gin and Tonic Aftershave and Cologne. It smells just like a gin and tonic. Oh, that smells good. It's limey, ginny, tonic y. It smells good. Ooh! It smells damn good. In there. Yeah, right there. We use too much. Who cares? Some good stuff. This ain't a lot of around anymore, so yeah, that's how much I've used. Oh no, take cool freaking label though. Look at that. It's like Earth, it's like cube is an Earth. That guy's like, damn. Yeah. Mm. <coughs> and on top of that, we're gonna put Phoenix Stars in Accoutrements, Immortal Peach, Star Jelly Aftershave. You can see how long I've had this one. And just a little bit. Not a lot, baby girl, just a little bit. Alright, put that on top. Gin, tonic, peach. Mm -hmm. Ramos Gin Fizz. There. That was damn good, except for there and there. Nice close. Alrighty then. Re he he there. Okay, a recap of what we used today. We used Phoenix Artists and Accoutrements. It's gin and tonic. Aftershave and cologne. On obtainium. Not on obtainium. Phoenix Artists and Accoutrements and Royal Peach Star Jelly. I think this is summer. It's still available in the store, I think. I think Phoenix Artists and Accoutrements. Out of block. We also used distilled water for BBS. No. Canadian Mafia Show theme of the week. Distilled water week. My Han Solo solo cup. Uh, Han shot first. Now, Oiska, I bet you were. Poof. And the BBS.live theme of the week is hashtag one love week two. This is the second week of it, so I'm loving all this stuff today. It's damn good shave. DE Razor, Phoenix Service and Accoutrements, Ascension Select Twist with a Mystical Mustard Magical Mystery Tour tip for the first use and the last one I had. Shark Platinum, Shark Plate, ooh ha. DE Blade. Baby shark, do 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 do. You hate Chris now. <laughs> All loaded up in the potato bowl, Whitish color. Favorite go-to bowl. Also use my Chiseling Hound Juicy IPA PAA 26 millimeter Nexus Nut Rush. Oh, this smells good. This smells really good. It's a nice, good combination. Good thinking, Chris. There's a the coaster it puts on. Puts the coaster in the hose. It gets a hose again. Puts the hose in. Yeah. Puts a lotion in the hose. It gets a basket again. And what we won from BBS.live, and this was sent to me by Shave Cave Reed, um, Lather Whipster. This is the Holy Black Secret Stash Ramos Gin Fizz. Unobtainium. Uh, creamsicle and juniper. Listen, do, uh, do you want to know a secret? Ooh, oh, this was a damn good shave. Whoa, whoa. BBS that life say one week loves it. Yeah. All right. That was it. That's the shave of the day. That one's still leak. Oh, one up there too. I might put a styptic on it. I don't know. This smells really damn good. That PA smells good. I don't know why this wasn't around very long. I think I'm the only one that did you YouTube review on it too. This was not a lot around very very long, but I have it. And yeah. Anyway. That is the shave of the day, ladies and gents. So, uh, oh, we also use, our, did I say? PA Cube 2.0, Peach Cube 2.0, and then I loaded with my base pick. These are back available. So I did put a link down below in the last video and put a link down below in this video. These are back, just the cowboy one, I think, though. That is it. I'm rambling. Ramble on. Bottom's the best drummer. Okay. Hope you, ladies and gents, have a good day, good week, good shaves. More to come, and links down below if you want to check anything out. If it's not obtainium, and see you, ladies and gents, soon.